Okay, so on Virtual Watershed, so this is a simulation software to teach students about top topography. And so what you can do with this is you can build up mountains, you can do valleys. And here we have maybe an island out in the ocean, or maybe we can make Maybe we can make Dennings Point here in the Hudson River. Pile up some land over here on the shore. And so as we move the sand around, you can see how the uh, topographic lines change. You'll notice that there's some water in there and that's what happens when You hold your hand at a high enough elevation, you can cause the terrain. So we're just going to fill in some points here. Now once we calibrate this, we just threw some sand in to demonstrate the unit. Once we calibrate it, then uh, the land surface will be at a little bit different elevation than what it's demonstrating now. So here we go, that's a little bit better. Make some land over here. We'll call that the Hudson River over here. This can be Dennings Point. Kind of flatten it out. Maybe not perfect, but it gives you an idea. And so what we can do then, once we get ourselves a land surface, um, what the software simulation will allow you to do is make it rain over the surface and it'll demonstrate water flow. So you hold your hand out above where you want it to rain. And then depending on the elevation you hold your hand, the more water you get. You can see that it moves off of the land surface. It runs off. So if I make it rain over here. See how the water is filling up the low points in the table as it runs off the land. We put lots of water out here in the Hudson. Now it's really raining hard. So over here you can see water filling up. See water running off the land here. So what this does, it helps uh, students understand topography and topographic lines, which are a very vague concept on paper. But here they're very intuitive. You can see that the closer together the topographic lines are means faster changing slopes. Further apart mean more level surfaces. And you can see how water flows off of that very naturally. Very, very fun thing. You can change, of course, details in real time. And there you can see, you can make the water run off faster by making a steeper slope. have it virtual watershed